about four or five cups of coffee a day. That's generally mm. how much caffeine the experts consider safe for a healthy adult. Seems plenty, but caffeine is found in more than just our morning cup of joe, and uh, some people more sensitive to caffeine than others. So Dr. Frank George here to explain how caffeine affects our bodies. Doc. Well, you know, Kim and Devin, even though caffeine is in lots of drinks like coffee and tea and even some foods, I would encourage everyone to think of it as a drug. And by that, I mean it has an effective dose, it has benefits, and it has side effects. It can also be dangerous if you take too much. You can find it in chocolate, soda, tea, and coffee. Caffeine is a part of life for many. In fact, it's consumed daily by about 80% of adults worldwide. Caffeine certainly gives you that feeling of alertness. It reduces your feeling of fatigue or tiredness. It works by blocking adenosine receptors in your brain. Those receptors slow down nerve activity, which makes us feel tired. That helps explain the afternoon crash some may feel when the effects of their morning coffee wear off. It's important to understand your threshold, how you react to caffeine, how much you're having, how you're dosing it throughout the day. For most people, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration says moderate caffeine consumption can be part of a healthy diet, but overuse can lead to side effects like insomnia, jitters, anxiousness, fast heart rate, upset stomach, nausea, headache, and a feeling of unhappiness. Since caffeine affects everyone differently, measure how much you can handle without having any negative side effects. I usually say start low, start small, and then add very gradually. Now, another point to mention regarding caffeine as a drug, it has to be metabolized by your body for the effect to wear off. So you should avoid anything with caffeine later in the day since it can really affect the quality of your sleep. And finally, if you do decide to cut down on your caffeine intake, you need to do it gradually because stopping abruptly can cause symptoms like headaches, even anxiety and sure, nervousness. Sure. Okay, so since it's classified as a drug, is it okay for pregnant women to consume? Well, that's a really important point. In fact, caffeine does have an effect on developing baby and the recommendation is in fact that women limit their caffeine intake during pregnancy. Now that said, the American College of OB-GYN says 200 milligrams a day or about two cups of coffee is what is considered safe. Yeah. All right. Can you do a drill down on the espresso martini for us first? <laughs> That's mixing drugs. <laughs> That's exactly. It's not a great idea generally. All right, Doc. Thanks.